Thank you. I am happy to be a part of tonight's Hall of Fame ceremony and to present Dana Diangenis, Stonehill Class of 2007, for induction to the Stonehill Athletic Hall of Fame. Dana helped lead the Stonehill Cross Country indoor and outdoor track programs to newfound success over the course of her four years, becoming the fourth female track and field athlete to earn All-American honors with an eighth place finish in the 1500 meter run at the 2006 NCAA Division II Outdoor Championships. In cross country, Dana helped lead Stonehill to a pair of NE10 championships, earning all conference honors three years with a career best third place finish for her senior season. Stonehill also won three NCAA regional championships, again highlighted by a third place finish in 2006, and reached the NCAA Division II championships all four years. She was a member of Stonehill's 2003 squad that turned in a program best 10th place team finish at the NCAA championships. Dana was a middle distance runner on the track, qualifying for three NCAA championship meets. In addition to her All-American performance outdoors in 2006, she finished ninth in the indoor mile at the indoor championships and 10th in the 1500 at the outdoor championships as a senior, both finishes of which would receive All-American honors today. Dana, who earned any 10 all-academic, all-conference honors, was a two-time All-New England performer and earned eight All-Northeast 10 honors with any 10 individual championships for the 1,000-meter run at 2006 Indoor Championships and the 4x8-meter run in 2005. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome for the induction into the Stonehill Athletic Hall of Fame from the class of 2007, Dana Diangenis. There's a lot of you guys here. Okay. Uh, first, I want to start by congratulating my fellow inductees of the 2018 Stonehill Athletic Hall of Fame. Well, no offense to Fran and Mike, uh, it's pretty amazing to share this honor with so many women. <laughs> Next, I have to thank the Hall of Fame Election Committee for choosing me to share this honor, not only with the current inductees, but with, other, the, with the other Stonehill track and field athletes and coaches who have come before me. Laura Trell, Mario Frioli, Diana Shavakos, Keith Gill, Coach Bowen. These athletes have been my captains, my role models, my teammates, my peers. Uh, in Laura's case, she was just a legend who came before me. She transformed our cross country program. I'm truly honored to be considered part of their company. I have to thank my friends and family who are here tonight. Thank you for sharing this with me. It would not be the same without you here. I have a confession to make to my closest friends and family and to this room full of strangers. When I first applied to Stonehill, I wasn't totally aware of how good their track and cross country teams were. I mean, I knew they were good, but I didn't really know they were competing at national championships. Uh, that ignorance probably worked in my favor because it didn't occur to me to be scared or intimidated more than I was as a freshman um, of the women who are already on the team. From the very first day of preseason my freshman year, I knew I was part of something special. I remember my captain greeted me with the friendliest greeting, gave me a big hug, and she was so excited because she was from Rhode Island and I was another Rhode Islander on the team. Within the first few weeks, I realized that I was in the right place. In high school, I was always the most competitive. I always wanted it more than my teammates. I was always that weirdo who was too competitive. Um, but finally at Stonehill, I was surrounded by like-minded women. Everyone else wanted to work hard and run fast. They wanted to get better. Um, and what cemented for me how special this program was was my very first regional cross country championship. I remember running up the first hill at Franklin Park through a sea of purple. Teammates who weren't running, alumni, they were cheering everywhere along the course and they all somehow knew my name even though I was a freshman. After that day, I knew that I had made the right decision and that Stonehill would always be my home. And while there's a team element to track and cross country, the thing that I always loved about running is that it's a particularly individual sport. I didn't have to rely on other people for my success. Win, lose, or draw, it was on me. However, even though I was the person who ran the workouts and competed at races and meets, I could not have been successful throughout my four years at Stonehill without the help of some very important people, some of whom are here today. I know I haven't done enough to thank them throughout my life, so hopefully this is enough. Hopefully I don't cry, we'll see. Um, so the first person I have to thank is my college roommate. She wasn't able to be here tonight. She's taking care of her very adorable, but also very sick child. Um, I'm not quite sure why Res Life put the two of us together, but I'm really happy that they did. Throughout my four years, she was there after every workout, every long run, every meet. 
She, along with my other non-running friends, helped to remind me that I was more than just a runner. I was more than one race or one workout, and even if I was disappointed in what had happened, it was still something impressive. Jenny was my shoulder to cry on. She pumped me up when I was down. She yelled at me when I was being ridiculous, which was often. Uh, she tolerated the fact that I had to go to bed early most Friday nights and wake up even earlier on Saturday mornings. She started a tradition of decorating our dorm room door before national championships, and I still have many of those decorations. I'm not sure if having the room to herself all of those afternoons and evenings I was at practice or Saturdays when I was at meets or weekends when I was away was worth the trade-off of having a crazy runner for a roommate, but I'm certainly glad that she continued to, greet, she continued to live with me for those four years. Uh, the next person I have to thank, she's here tonight, is Coach Bowen. Um, when I was applying to colleges, I wasn't sure if I would continue running, but as soon as I came to Stonehill and as soon as I met Co Coach Bowen, I knew that my running career was not over. I knew she was a person I wanted to run for, I wanted to compete for, I, I knew she could make me better. And I'm sure if you asked either of us when I started at Stonehill that I would end my collegiate career drinking Bud Light on the streets of North Carolina <laughs> after a national championships, also I think seeing a Cheap Trick concert, I think, um, we both would have laughed, but that's a true story. Um, she would not hesitate, <laughs> in my four years, Coach became my mom away from home. She would not hesitate to let me know when I was wrong or I wasn't ready or I wasn't being realistic or I was being impatient. Uh, she walked that fine line of being supportive while being realistic, pushing me when I needed it and pulling me back when I was being impatient. I know for a fact that I would not have progressed in the way that I did if it were not for her. So thank you, Coach, for seeing the poten my potential before I could and pushing me to make sure I could reach it. Okay, here's the hard part. <laughs> I have to thank my parents. I have tried to thank them in the past, and it was real bad. It was real bad, I started crying, it was awful, so hopefully I can make it through this time. They're right in front, so it's gonna be really difficult. Okay, so for as long as I can remember, my parents always taught me and my brothers that we could accomplish anything we wanted to. We weren't entitled to anything, and things definitely did not come easy for any of us, but if we put our heads down and worked hard, we could make things happen. And I also remember, whether explicitly or not, learning that as a girl, I would have to work harder. I would have to prove that not only was I as good as the boys, but I was better. It was with that mindset that I have approached running at every level, even now as an adult. Uh, working harder than other people who definitely have more talent than I do. Thankfully, my parents didn't instill this with me, in, within me and then send me off into the world on my own, whether at dual meets in high school or championship races and even the Boston Marathon a couple years ago. My parents did everything they could to be there to support me. My mom was also kind enough not to take it to heart when I would yell at her before big races, and that was usually the best sign of how nervous I was, was how mad I got at my mom, either for something stupid or sometimes literally nothing at all. Like, it didn't matter. Uh, but it was always a comfort to know that they were in my corner, and that they were there, and that they were, in the, they were in my corner. And they were for almost every single important race. And I have to bring this up because when I shared with my mother the Hall of Fame honor, she mentioned this. While I was at Stonehill, I had the opportunity to run in seven national championships, and my parents were able to attend six of those seven. And the only one they missed, however, was the only national championship where I was All-American. I'm not saying that they're a curse, <laughs> but <laughs> the odds are definitely not in their favor. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, my parents taught me the true meaning of sacrifice, of strength, of hard work, of compassion, of perseverance, of so many other things. They shaped me into the outspoken, strong-willed person that I am today. And for that, I will be forever grateful. So thanks, Mom and Dad. This one's for you. Not literally. You don't get to steal this like you did my All-American certificate. I'm taking this home. <laughs> but thank you. And thank you all for being here tonight.